this thing on. I missed the sign. The sign post? No, the oh. sign post. So we're here now at the uh, famous sign post uh, spot here in Watson Lake. A lot of history in here. And we'll hopefully get a 410 Expedition sticker uh, somewhere if we can find a vacant spot. So this is looking pretty cool here. Packing that sign all the way up from <laughs> Tennessee. 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 <laughs> There you go. So, <laughs> what are the odds, right? <laughs> so I have a buddy who's a welder, so what he did is I had him add a foot front and back on the frame and then we extended the trunk. Okay. And then um there were a lot like along there, weren't there? Yeah, there were I did a fair amount of research but I didn't want to use plywood so I used pre zone. Right. So this is the stuff they use on the highways for all the highway road signs. What was that so it's got to be more weather twenty year life expectancy. Oh perfect. And uh and my son's a ten basher so I had him make the top for me so I didn't end up with any moisture okay. sitting on there. And then we did the corners and the track yeah. thing on the front. Oh, it's solid. Like, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's beautiful. So then we had to kind of book a little bit more of the second day. Oh. Uh, Randy, did I send you a, a deck yet? No, I was going to oh, ask you. Oh, he's got some in the Does he? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll totally I've been giving some out on the trip. Totally. I ran out, so. I know how to install them, so. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll get you one. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to clean some mud off. We actually, um, we went to just west of Haynes Junction called Kathleen Lake. It's just a government campground, yep. place, which is beautiful, right? And then on the way back through Haynes, there's a an off-road trail to get into the Takini Hot Springs. I just have the GPS, right? And so I followed the trail and we got about halfway, but I had to turn around. So we're two hours in, quarter tank of gas with the jerk and That's kind of like our uh, White Rim Trail uh, yeah, yeah. episode. Oh, we didn't read the book properly. Oh no. Turn, turn the tape off, will you? <laughs> <laughs> no, the ranger said 100 miles. Take, spend the day, do the, what, do the trail. It's 100 miles. Yeah. Well, to me, when someone says spend the day, I mean, eight hours max. Right. It means that the day. No, it was 12 hours. Mm. So we didn't get like not even halfway, and we're and the guy. Yeah. Sorry, well, in the episode, we ran into a guy, and he raised a step, asked the guy how long it takes to make this trail. So he goes, Where are you going? And he says, Out of here. He goes, Oh boy, you need to turn around and go back because oh. of the time, he goes, you're not getting out of here. Get out. And he goes, The stuff that you just came down on, going that way, is even harder coming going up. That's why people usually 
and we're going kind of clockwise here. Everybody else is going clockwise. Oh. And, we're thinking, and I asked them on the road, like, do you think looks. there's a code that you're supposed to go clockwise? Because I don't know. I never thought of that. No. And uh, sure enough, everybody we ran into was going clockwise. Like, oh. Except the lady in the Jeep. In the Jeep, in the red Jeep. The wow. Jeep mistake. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it sounds interesting. Yeah. It's amazing what, you know, you just get off the beaten path and you don't know what you're in for. Oh, I know. But 100 miles, but at 10 miles an hour? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a restaurant now, I bet. Yeah. I think it's like a restaurant now or something. What was your question? What was your question? Was it, is it a restaurant now? Is that what you said? I don't know. It could be a, a restaurant now. SS Klondike was the name of two stern wheelers, the second now a National Historic Site located here in Whitehorse, Yukon. Both ran freight between Whitehorse and Dawson City along the Yukon River from 1929 to 1950. Klondike 1 was built in 1929 and had the distinction of having 50% more capacity than a regular stern wheeler, while still having the shallow draft and meeting the size requirements in order to travel down the Yukon River. Klondike 1 had a cargo capacity of 270 metric tons without having to push a barge. Klondike 1 ran aground in June 1936 in the 30 mile section of the Yukon River. The British Yukon Navigation Company salvaged much of the ship and cannibalized the wreckage to build Klondike 2 the following year. Klondike 2 carried freight until 1950. Due to the construction of a highway connecting Dawson City and Whitehorse, many stern wheelers were decommissioned. In an attempt to save Klondike 2, she was converted into a cruise ship. The venture shut down in 1955 due to the lack of interest, and Klondike 2 was beached in the White Horse shipyards. The ship was donated to Parks Canada and was gradually restored until 1966, when city authorities agreed to move the ship to its present location, then part of a squatter's residence. The task required three bulldozers, eight tons of palm olive soap, a crew of 12 and three weeks to complete. Grease log rollers ease the process. On June 24, 1967, Klondike 2 was designated a National Historic Site of Canada and she is now open during the summer as a tourist attraction. Love the color you got going on right now. <laughs> it's a little shaky. Is it bouncing a lot? It's bouncing a lot. I you actually you'd think I had it in my hands. <laughs> actually, if he drives like that and I hold it, it's almost like it'd be still. Oh my god. It's a little shaky. That's true. As long as we're in sync. Yeah. At least we'll edit that out. Edit oh, are you on? Edit Maybe it'll be fun. No. No, we'll keep looking. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Are we there yet? We just experienced white horse.
Big rock. What's going on? Just need a little persuader. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good. So he, these are water sealed containers here and actually they're like a toolbox. They're actually quite handy because we have a nice tray and we keep our you know, cutting knives, spatulas, uh, our Coleman knife uh, a utensil set right here 